It's my first time in Vegas. I think now we are going to go, go, go. Let's go, ladies. It's just been nonstop. Your competition is practicing. It's becoming real. Do you understand? Or you can feel the competitiveness. Unacceptable. It's just so nervous. We are not playing right now. I had to make it happen because I wanted this opportunity. The camera can see in your eyes that you're scared. It's over. You've got to be strong. Go! Tonight, 92 of the world's most incredible women go head-to-head -head for the ultimate prize, the Miss Universe crown. All eyes are on the bright lights of Las Vegas. From the Axis Theater at Planet Hollywood Resort and Casino, this is Miss Universe 2017. Featuring backstage reports from Ashley Graham, Carson Presley, and Lou Sierra. Plus, live performances by Fergie and Rachel Platten. And now, please welcome your host, Steve Harvey. I'm your man, Steve Harvey. Please, welcome to Miss Universe. Well, my first year, we started right here in Las Vegas. Well, we all know how that went. We don't really need to go back into that. Uh, last year, we took Miss Universe over to the Philippines. We had an amazing time. Well, now we are back in one of the greatest cities in the world, Las Vegas, baby. And this year, folks, we're breaking records because we've got more Miss Universe contestants than ever before, 92. And we're gonna need a lot more stage. And three countries are competing tonight for the very first time in Miss Universe history. Cambodia, Laos, and Nepal. It's a worldwide battle royale. And here again to help us out tonight is our backstage correspondent, beauty icon, Ashley Graham. She'll be bringing us all the inside info on tonight's competition, backed up by not one, but two pageant experts. That's right, Steve. Throughout the night, I'll be getting in-depth analysis from our very own legendary fashion guru, Carson Presley, and top runway coach, Luciera. That's me. I do look phenomenal tonight. Thank you, so do you. How do you feel? I, you know what, I am super excited to be here. Like so many other little boys, I grew up obsessed <laughs> with the Miss Universe pageant, and now I get to be here, and it's really, it's the Super Bowl of style. It's hair, it it's makeup, it's glamour, it's gowns. It is. So I'm thrilled. Oh, uh, Lou? I am so excited, and this year, the competition is off the chain. The groups are ready, and they've come to fight. All right, Steve, back to you. Well, thank you, guys. Miss Universe is truly an international competition. So this year, we're changing things up. Tonight, for the first time, countries will be separated into three groups based on their geography. Group one is the Americas group. Group two is Europe. Group three is Africa and Asian Pacific. For the Americas, you're going to meet 33 contestants. For Europe, you will meet 27 contestants. And finally, you will meet 32 contestants that will come from Africa and Asia Pacific combined. Four women from each of the groups are guaranteed to move on to the finals. Then to round out our top 16, we've got four wild card spots that are open to all the remaining contestants, regardless of the group. Okay? All right, it's time to get to it. Since we're here in Las Vegas, let's start off right here at home. Here's our first region, the Americas. A 
Aruba. Barbados Despacito. Bolivia Brazil British Virgin Islands Canada Colombia Costa Rica Curacao Dominican Republic Ecuador El Salvador Guatemala Guyana Haiti Honduras Jamaica Mexico Nicaragua Panama Paraguay Peru Puerto Rico Saint Lucia Tobago, Uruguay, USA, US Virgin Islands, Venezuela. There are 33 women fighting to capture four spots in their region. It's a battle for the Western Hemisphere with the Americas. Here are Ashley, Carson, and Lou with the breakdown. All right, thank you, Steve. Lou, that was the first time the contestants are actually on yes. the stage. Yes. What are they going through? They came to rehearse, they came to like, make friends. Now comes the competition. Now! And the Americas set the bar. They set the bar that everyone else is trying to reach. I believe you, I really do. Okay, Carson, what do you love about this region? Oh, well, it's all about the Americas, I mean, I don't do math, but 34 out of 65 Miss Universe winners have come from either North or South America. So the odds are on the Americas to take the title. So Sounds like you're, you're into numbers. Well, <laughs> me encanta Venezuela. Hello. Well, I will say my favorite definitely out of this region so far is Colombia. She is hot. Colombia. No, uh, we have Curacao. We have yes. Colombia. We yes. have Mexico. USA. USA is Are rocky. you a little cold? Because I'm feeling Chile. Hello. All right, guys. Back to you, Steve. All right, thanks, Ashley. We've met all the contestants from the Americas, but we still got two more groups ready to take the stage. Next up, we're going to cross the Atlantic and meet the contestants from Europe. This is Miss Universe live on Fox. Just a young girl with the quick fuse. I was uptight, wanna let loose. I was dreaming of bigger things and wanna leave my old life behind. Thunder, 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 feel the thunder. 
Good morning. Come on in. Welcome. This is our mansion for the next two weeks. Yes. <laughs> this side of the room is my side. As you can see, it is very clean. And... <laughs> <laughs> the Australian flag's bigger. I don't know if that means anything, but uh, you can decide. <laughs> You're small but mighty, OK? <laughs> I thought I bought seven shoes for this trip, and I was wrong. I bought 12. OK, those are 12 shoes, but mind you, I have 12 suitcases. So all these are mine. With the exception of these ones. OK, who brought more stuff with them? Oh. <clears throat> Ghana. Who actually snores the loudest? I don't think either of us snore, so I'm going to say you too. You do snore. <laughs> I sleep talk. <laughs> who takes the longest to get ready? Yeah. <laughs> Nepal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. We have a pretty good <laughs> Welcome back to Miss Universe. 92 aspiring women from across the globe are laying it all out on the line tonight. We've seen the Americans work the stage, and right now, it's Europe's turn to show the world what they've got. Please welcome the contestants from Europe. When I was six years old, I broke my leg. I was running from my brother and his friends. Albania. And tasted the sweet perfume of the mountain grass I rolled down. Austria. I was younger then. Belgium. Take me back to when I Bulgaria. Croatia. Czech Republic so long, I know I've gone, I Finland to go home. I'm on my way. France Driving at 19 hours Country late Georgia into tiny dance Germany Great Britain Cigarettes. Malta. Running from the north to the back fields in Netherlands. Getting with my friends. Had my first kiss Norway. on Friday night. I don't reckon that I did Poland. Right. I was younger then. Take me back to when Portugal. We found weekend jobs. Romania. We Buy cheap spirits and drink them Russia Me and my friends have not thrown up in so Slovak long Slovak Republic we've grown But I can't wait to go home Slovenia Spain Sweden Turkey Another outstanding group of women, but only four of them are guaranteed spots in the next round. It's an all-out continental competition. Here's Ashley, Carson, and Lou to give us a closer look at the Europe group. Thank you, Steve. Okay, guys, we just saw Europe, and in this region, just last year, there was only one girl, and she France. won. France. Iris, yes, yes. France. what's going on? Iris from France. Well, I'm not being shady here, Ashley, but Europe traditionally doesn't really rock it all the time at Miss Universe. No shade. They've huh? only won seven. It's only the facts and figures. Yeah, I love They've only year, won they came seven in times. Rehearsals, though, in and 50 in rehearsals, years. and they said, <laughs> I need to fight. They looked at the other right. two groups and they said, you know what? They came to rock and roll, so Europe is going to represent. And there's, there's actually, I have a lot of favorites from this group. Well, the tell group. us who it is. I like Spain. Okay. Vir Elska Ersteria. That Hello. means I like Sweden. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, Czech, please. I like the Czech Republic. Okay, Lou. Please don't count out Germany. I know. No. This is Germany's the best fantastic. Germany we've had in quite some time. These Europeans have come. Okay. We love them. All right, that's it. Go Back Europe. to you, Steve. 
You know, wearing the crown is a great honor, but it also comes with a lot of hard work and responsibility. Our reigning Miss Universe, Iris Mitana, has fulfilled her duties with grace, confidence, and determination. Let's take a look. All right, ready? Yeah. Okay. What were you doing a year ago? The new Miss Universe is France! I remember saying, oh my God, Pia! <laughs> and my whole life changed. Miss Universe! <laughs> I moved to New York, my first time in New York. It's like a movie, I really love it. It's too hard. Imagine when they did this period. I travel all the time. I'm working every day, that's a job, and that's, that's a hard job, but that's also, I think, the most beautiful job in the universe, of course. I hope I made a difference with my train this year because I'm Miss Universe, but I'm also a dentist student, so it was like a dream for me. My train, they are doing free surgery uh, for children who have cleft palate and lips. It's amazing to see the difference in a child's life. It was just an amazing year with a lot of different emotions, so I was laughing, crying, but especially loving everything during this year. Well, she's truly an impressive woman. Please welcome the reigning Miss Universe, Iris Mittenau. Uh, listen, it's great to see you again. Uh, you're the first European Miss Universe uh, in over 27 years. H how was your year? It was a wonderful year, really. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you to everybody. You're here tonight, but I know you were here during my year. And this is because of you that I'm here tonight. I wish good luck to all the contestants. And this is my, my last night as Miss Universe. And I'm really proud. I'm proud to represent the universe and to represent my country, friends. Thank you. Yes. What advice? What advice would you give the next Miss Universe? Enjoy everything, time flies, I can tell you, because I'm here tonight and I have the feeling I was in Philippines yesterday. And yeah, enjoy everything. Uh, be my best friend, please. And I'm gonna give you a lot of advices later, so I will love you, I'm sure. <laughs> well, thank you, Iris. We'll see you again later in the show. Well, we've met our contestants from the Americas and Europe. And next, we'll cover the rest of the world. Right after the break, the women of Africa and Asia Pacific hit the stage as we meet our final group of the night. This is Miss Universe Live on Fox. What makes me confident? I love a good elegant pearl. Um, I'm not really the bombshell, but I'd love to be. <laughs> and knowing that I'm going to own that day. I feel my most confident when I feel like myself. <laughs> I like this look in particular because it's very Australian. <laughs> I definitely feel my most confident when I look like me. Sometimes I can be dressy, sometimes I can be casual, so that's why I feel comfortable with my hair like this. Confidence, Confidence is, is my, my style. style. Welcome back to Miss Universe, everybody. Well, so far, we've seen contestants from two groups, the Americas and Europe. Next, we'll meet group three, Africa and Asia Pacific. Now, this region is unique because not only does it have three countries making their Miss Universe debut, but Iraq returns to the competition after a 45-year absence. Let's take a look at the story of Sarah Eden and her journey to Miss Universe. 
I was born in Baghdad uh, the same year that uh, the war happened, the Desert Storm. It became normal, like I see a car bomb, we would hear an explosion and we just pray it's not gonna be our house. So it actually left uh, the, the entire city of Baghdad completely destroyed. I was actually born at that hospital over there. It was unsafe, like you couldn't move around, especially I couldn't like go outside, like, you know, without wearing hijab. I knew I wanted to leave the country. I went uh, to the green zone and I talked to the American troops and I said, I want to work with you because I know that if you work with them, then there's a chance you can go to the US. I was working for the coalition forces. I was wanted, like in the eyes of, you know, terrorists and all of that. And I knew that it was really bad outside. I didn't trust anybody around me. And I was just like in that state of mind, are people going to find out? Are they going to try to kill me or anything? I know a lot of people are against the pageant. They think it's against Islam, and they think it's not an appropriate time for Iraq to have a beauty pageant right now. I am a Muslim, but I want to represent Christians, Jews, uh, Kurdish, everyone in Iraq. I hope that they will look at it with an open mind, and they will think we are proud of her, like she presenting our country in front of the entire world. It always takes to like one person to do one thing or say one thing and then give the others courage to make a change. All right, now that, that is an amazing story. Congratulations. Well, now let's meet all of the contestants from Africa and Asia Pacific. China, Egypt, Ethiopia, Ghana, Israel Japan Kazakhstan Korea Vietnam. 
at least four of these contestants will have a chance to make their dreams come true tonight. Here's Ashley, Carson, and Lou to give us an inside look. All right, guys, we have three new wow. countries in this region. Lou, I want to know, what are the advantages and disadvantages of being a new contestant? The advantages are, you're new, you're fresh. It's a clean slate. Do you. Right. The disadvantages, you have no one to tell you. What should I do? What to expect? What to look out for? Real raw talent. Real raw talent. OK, Carson, how are you feeling, like, overall about this region? Overall, this region is strong. Yes, it I, is. I mean, Pearl after pearl, woman after woman, I was just like, who do I choose? I mean, Philippines, Vietnam, Thailand, Thailand, Guam. Yes. Who okay. knew? Who Guam. knew? I will have Vietnam. to say, okay, guys, my favorite is Philippines. She is rocking it. Her, she's beautiful. Uh, very favorite, not favorite. Sleep on Thailand. Really? Don't sleep on Thailand. I, Carson, no, I'm going to go for one of the new contestants from Nepal. Right? Nepal, Cambodia, and Laos, all new countries. All right, Steve, it's back to you. Thanks, Ashley. We've already made history tonight with the most countries ever represented at Miss Universe. Next, the results from our judges here and at home. Find out if your favorites made the final 16 when we return. Coming up, it's the first elimination. And later, unforgettable performances from Fergie and Rachel Platten. This is the 66th annual Miss Universe, live from Planet Hollywood Resort and Casino in Las Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. For our contestants, the competition began over a week ago. From the moment they stepped off the plane here in Las Vegas, they immediately went head to head in the preliminary competition, where the pressure was on right from the very start. Going to rehearsal, starting rehearsals just makes it sink in that it's actually happening. Let's go, ladies. Come in, have a seat. Your competition is practicing. They're not doing it in front of you, but they're practicing. Do you understand? Okay. Going from the photo shoot to the rehearsals, it's becoming real. Good girl, Canada. Strong poses. You know, you can feel the competitiveness, you know, rising. You don't take my stairs next time. Go. You have to wake up, like, really early. Unacceptable. Go. The days are definitely long. They're tiring, but that's what Miss Universe has to do. We are not playing right now. Any questions? We're moving on. If you really want to get down to it, I would say the Q&A is going to be what really separates everyone. I was um, standing outside, not nervous at all, and then as soon as I got inside, I, I don't know what came over me. I was just so nervous. Hello, good. I'm sorry. Come closer. Come closer. This is the moment we start to become this universe. What's the essence of a strong woman to you? What do you think? I want your opinion. One thing my father always taught me was that life is precious and I can't take any of it for granted. Miss Universe is an ambassador of building bridges. I had to make it happen because I wanted this opportunity. It's over. This is happening at the moment. The camera can see in your eyes that you're scared. Why Miss Universe? Why? Yes. You're doing great, keep going. <laughs> These women here are beyond their beauty. I just got really emotional. At a very young age, I learned that it's very important to be strong and to have your own opinion because it's not going to be easy out there. Oh, no. Well done. Done. <laughs> done. Really? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> It's really about what these women are and what they stand for. Narrowing down the field to 16 women to move on to the finals is going to be the hardest thing ever. It's all in the hands of the judges now. <laughs> Wish us luck. Yeah. Well, as tough as the preliminaries were, it's nothing compared to what's at stake for our contestants tonight. Right now, let's meet our judges. This group of judges will have to make the tough decision tonight so let's give them some love. Well, she took the world by storm when she became Miss Universe 2015. From the Philippines, model and actress Pia Watsback. Our next judge is an influencer with millions of followers on YouTube 
and was recently listed on Forbes 30 Under 30. Lele Palms. And <laughs> he's a man who's never afraid to speak his mind. Pop culture expert and television host, Ross Matthews. This next gentleman is a global entrepreneur and chairman of the board for Farouk Systems, makers of Chi and BioSilk, Farouk Shami. And this lovely lady is no stranger to intense competitions, mixed martial arts commentator and UFC correspondent, Megan Olivi. Well, he first made his talents known as the creative director on America's Next Top Model and is now the founder and CEO of Jay Manuel Beauty. Jay Manuel. She is also a former Miss Universe from Trinidad and Tobago. Please welcome attorney, TV host, and singer, Wendy Fitzwilliam. Well, I got all those names right. See if I can keep these countries right now. Well, thank you, judges. Uh, we'll be checking back with you later. Well, now let's get to it. Earlier this week, a preliminary panel of judges, all of you voting at home, and members of the Miss Universe organization selected 16 finalists. Now remember, countries have been separated into three groups based on their geography, the Americas, Europe, and Africa and Asian Pacific. Four women from each group are guaranteed to move into the finals. Then, to round out our top 16, we've got four wild card spots that are open to all the remaining contestants, regardless of group. You've met all the contestants from Africa and Asia Pacific. Now, here are your first four finalists. The first contestant from Africa and Asia Pacific Heading to the top 16 is Thailand. Congratulations. Thank you, Harvey. Uh, you've earned a master's degree in marketing, worked as a model, and recorded an album, so what's next on your list to do? Well, Harvey, hopefully to receive the great honor to become your next Miss Universe. Thank you, Thailand. Also moving forward is... Sri Lanka. Well, how are you? I'm fantastic. Yes, me too. I understand that you have eight cats. W what are their names? Wow, okay, so there's Coco, there's Nameless, there's Bullet, there's Toothless, there's Mama Kitty, and there's Kiki. You have a cat named Toothless? Yeah. He has no teeth? I know he looks like the dragon from How to Train a Dragon. You have no idea who that is. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Sri Lanka. Next to advance is... Ghana. Well, how are you? Very well, thank you. You? Uh, I heard you say that if you won your national title, you didn't know if you would laugh or cry. But if you won Miss Universe tonight, what would you do? I'm going to laugh throughout. Yeah. <laughs> well, if I get the name wrong, I'm gonna cry. Congratulations, Ghana. Thank you very much. And now, the final selection from Africa and Asia Pacific. South Africa. How are you? Oh my goodness, I couldn't be better, Steve. <laughs> well, you probably imagined how this evening would go for you. Did you, have, did you ever imagine what I might ask you tonight? 
Well, I got a question this whole week. Do I have a pet lion? And Steve, the closest that I have to a pet lion is my little Yorkshire Terrier, and his name is Benji. So guys, it's really safe in South Africa. You can come on safari. Okay. Thank you, South Africa. Well, all these countries should be grateful. I'll tell you what I'm grateful for on this Thanksgiving weekend. I'm grateful for the Oscars, because it let me off the hook. So you can sit here and act like you didn't see what Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway did, but it got me off the hook. So let me explain something to you. Moonlight don't sound nothing like La La Land. Nothing. It wasn't but two movies to pick from, and they got it wrong. My mistake at least involved 80 other countries. That's a good joke. You can go ahead and laugh. It's OK. I'm the only one who should be tight right now. All right, we have 12 more to announce. Up next, we reveal the finalists from Europe and the Americas. Don't miss a moment. Welcome back to Miss Universe, everybody. You know, we started the competition with 92 very deserving women. Only 16 will advance to the finals. Four from the Americas, four from Europe, four from Africa and Asia Pacific, and four wild cards from anywhere in the world. Well, we've already revealed the first four finalists. Now we're about to announce our next four finalists from the Europe group. Here we go. The first from Europe to advance is Spain. Well, how are you? Good evening, Las Vegas. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, I know you probably had to wake your family up early to watch Miss Universe in, over in Spain, so what would you like to say to them right now? Well, actually, I've annoyed them so much for so many years that a lot of them are here tonight. And to all my Spanish family that are in Spain, good morning to all of you. And I hope that uh, the Miss Universe paying in Spain is a moment of union for all the Spanish people. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Spain. The next spot goes to Ireland. Well, congratulations. How are you? Thank you very much. I'm Grace. <laughs> I understand that your grandmother is your biggest fan. Uh, what's the best advice she ever gave you? The best advice my grandmother has ever given me is you never fail until you give up. Absolutely. Thank you, Ireland. Also in the top 16 is... Croatia. So how are you? I'm really well. How are you? Yeah. Well, you're the tallest contestant at 6'1". Yep. <laughs> yes, I am. That's amazing. I think it is, too. I love it. I love being tall. I love heels. I love it, too. With the heels on, that's, you're like 6. <laughs> my god, I'm 6'2". You're like 6'4 right now. It is what it is. <laughs> it is wonderful. <laughs> Ain't God good? Thank you, Croatia. Well, there's one spot left for Europe. Still in the competition is... Great Britain. Well, how are you? Ecstatic. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, you work as an empowerment coach during the uh, pageant. What's some of the best advice you try to give out? Well, we broke boards, wooden boards with our bare hands. It's all about empowering women and spreading the message of being strong. And one thing was empowerment moves. So whenever you're nervous, before whatever you're doing, you could just find a move that you do and it gets you across all your fears. Well, that's it. Congratulations, Great Britain. Well, these remarkable women will represent Europe in tonight's top 16. Let's go to Ashley for some insider reactions. Thank you, Steve. Okay, so the first eight finalists have been revealed. Okay, so what are your thoughts, Lou? I want to know what's happening. Okay, if Thailand was in a show with me, I'd trip her. That's how good you know <laughs> Thailand and Spain, baby. They can Ooh. walk. They've been consistent through rehearsals. Right. Fabulous all the way. Okay, oh my goodness. Okay, so what is your predictions for the Americas? Oh, oh, who our four are going to be? Yes. Let me, let me channel Miss Chloe. And get, sorry, get, Okay, I think we well, got to count USA for sure. 100%. They've won, they've won more titles at Miss USA than anybody else, I think eight. And then right behind them with seven is Venezuela. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put them in my list. Okay. Okay. And, uh, and then my two others, Mexico, huge yes. crowd favorite, yes. gorgeous. Yes. Uh, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it South American. I'm going to go with Colombia. Yeah, Colombia is really winning out really, there for me. Really I'm a little nervous hair. for the sweet girls. Really? Yes. Yeah. Great Britain, very, very, very sweet. But I feel she like Iris me. was so sweet all year, mm. and it really was something good for her. No, Iris was tough. Really? Iris yeah. was tough. Great Britain is sweet, and okay. I'm nervous. All right, all right, Steve, here you are with the results. Well, thank you, Ashley. If you're a little late to the party, let me catch you up. Tonight, our contestants have been separated into three groups based on their geography, the Americas, Europe, and Africa and Asia Pacific. Four women from each group are guaranteed to move into the finals. Then to round out our top 16, we've got four wild card spots that are open to all the remaining contestants, regardless of group. Eight out of our top 16 from Europe and Africa, Asia Pacific have already been revealed. Right now, we're going to reveal the finalists from the Americas. Here we go. First, from the Americas to advance is... Colombia! Well, how are you? You wanted to see me, right? I'm, I'm so happy to see anybody from Colombia. God knows I am. Thank you, God, for this moment. <laughs> well, uh, I heard as a child that you memorized a lot of Academy Award speeches. Give me your best speech for making it to the final 16. This one goes to every single loser in the world because I know how big your dreams are. You know, I've been there. But you just keep working hard and put so much passion in everything you do because you just might get the chance to stand in front of a thousand people and scream into their faces that you're the one here, you're a champion. Yes! Yes! Thank you, Colombia. One step closer to the crown is... USA! Well, congratulations. Thank you so much. I know that you are a U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission with a degree in chemistry. I can't read the rest of the question because I don't know what none of that is. Well, how do you feel right now? I feel overly happy and optimistic right now. And actually, I want to give you a pop quiz. Do you know where radium is at on the periodic table? Yeah. 
Well, radium is actually one of my favorite elements because it was founded by the mother of radiochemistry, Mary Curie. And as a radiochemist, I advocate for so many children in STEM and women in leadership positions, and that's the mission of a Miss Universe. Thank you, USA. Headed to the next round is... Brazil! Congratulations. Thank you. I uh, heard that you were actually bald for a year. Why, why, would, you, why would you do that? You and they say, the beauty is inside. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. <laughs> yes, I am. Thank you very much, Brazil. Yeah. Only one spot left for the Americas. Still alive in the competition is... Canada. Well, congratulations. Well, thanks, Steve. Good. I understand that you like to swim with sharks. Uh, why would you do that? My, uh, my mother asks me the same question every time. Honestly, I, I'm not afraid of them. I was a really strange child where I used to watch Jaws and I felt bad for the shark. And I, don't, I can't explain it. I started loving them and then I wanted people to realize they're not as scary as they can be. And truth be told, I was more scared of doing an engineering degree than diving with a great white. You look terrified right now. Yeah, stay away from sharks. I don't, what you're saying makes no sense to me. They, sharks eat people. But congratulations, though. I can show you they don't. Come with me. No, no, you're not going to show me. No, you're not. I stay on land. I don't like sharks. Thank you very much, Canada. Well, there you have it, folks. Our first 12 finalists. But for the rest of you, there's still one more chance. Four wild card spots up for grabs, which means four more contestants from any region are about to earn a shot at the coveted Miss Universe title when we come back. Malaysia, Colombia, Germany, Cayman Islands, Sweden, New Zealand, Peru, USA, Austria, Nepal, Australia, Angola, Mexico, Curacao, Vietnam, Georgia, Georgia Spain, Costa Rica, Ghana, Great Britain. More than 90 countries, from 90 países, from every corner, no, yeah, people. every corner of the world, every race, Har -Urk. religion, religion, Haimanut. colors, color, in one place, one place. and one time, Japan. at one time, in solo tiempo. Barbados, Chile, Brazil, Kazakhstan, Argentina, Angola, Sri Lanka, Thailand, Cambodia. Celebrating the beauty of how different we all are. Juan Diferente Somos. This is the Sesame Miss Universe. Miss Cecilia. Oh, yeah, Miss Universe. Universe. The all out battle for the top 16 continues after the break. And later, Grammy award-winning artist Fergie performs during the evening gown competition. Plus, Rachel Platten takes it home with a live performance of her hit, Broken Glass, when Miss Universe continues. Well, welcome back to Miss Universe, everybody. Twelve. Amazing women have already earned themselves spots in the top 16. We began with three regional showdowns. Four women emerged from each region to continue their quest for the crown. The regionals are closed. But for the contestants who didn't make the cut, there's one last shot to stay in the competition. All of our remaining contestants from anywhere in the world are eligible. There are four spots left. 
At this point, it's anybody's game. Women still have a chance. Making the final 16 is... Philippines! Well, congratulations. Thank you, Steve. I was getting nervous for a minute. Yeah, I'm nervous too. I'm nervous for you. What does it mean to you right now, representing one of the most, as you can tell, enthusiastic nations when it comes to Miss Universe? What does this mean for you? Well, Steve, it's such an honor. Um, it means the world to me. It means the universe to me, and I can hear the entire Philippines screaming for me all the way from here. I love you, Philippines. Thank you, Philippines. The next woman to make the final is... Venezuela! Well, congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm so scary there. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you wait so much for me? Well, I had to wait. You know, we got this new thing where we're bringing out the last four, and you just happened to make it. So that's what took so long. I know, the tension, the adrenaline, I know. I know. Yeah, the tension and the adrenaline. I heard you work three jobs to pay your way through college. What's, what's, the, what's the worst job you've ever had? Well, Harvey, I think uh, none jobs was difficult when you work hard with commitment for your dreams and your goals. And now I can say that I'm a mechanical engineer and also I'm representing my beautiful country, Venezuela. Yes, thank you, Venezuela. Still in the competition is... Jamaica! Congratulations. Thank you. This has got to be a big moment for you. It is a very big one. I mean, this country, I, I love Jamaica. I really do. I go there often. Uh, this is almost, this is, this is as big as Usain Bolt for you. Oh, yes. Woo! Walk one, Las Vegas. Yeah, booyaka, booyaka, yeah. Congratulations, Jamaica. I don't know. Well, 77 women still hoping to hear their name but there is only one spot left. The last contestant in the final 16 is... China! Well, congratulations. Oh, thank you. So exciting. Oh, my God. This is big. I understand you're an actress, and they say sometimes you have to cry on command. Oh, come on. You are so demanding, all right? I don't want you to do that. It's the question that's on the card. Let's just let that go, OK? Don't worry about that. I didn't think it was a good question anyway. Congratulations, China. Thank you, thank you. Um, actually, I would like to keep them for the final moment. Uh, if, if you uh, want to see me cry, 
So waiting for you, I will show you. <laughs> oh, okay, we'll do that then. Y'all give it up for China. Well, congratulations to our 16 finalists. They've worked hard to make it this far, but the competition is just getting started. Next, they'll face off in the swimsuit round, and everyone watching at home will have a chance to vote for their favorite. Right now, let's check in with Ashley, who's hoping to flag down one of our finalists. Thank you, Steve. Our top 16 is an incredible group of women. I'm excited to see how they handle the competition moving forward. I've got my favorites, but I'm keeping an open mind. Let's go, ladies. You guys look exceptional. Hi, Philippines. Oh my God, you've got the biggest reaction when your name was called. How do you feel? Um, just overwhelmed. I mean, even during the dress rehearsals earlier, there were so many people here. I love you guys. Um, I just can't say thank you enough. <laughs> Well, I have to say, I was a little nervous. Were you nervous that you may not make it into the last spot of the wild card? Uh, yes. <laughs> After they finished calling Asia, I was like, oh my goodness, what is happening right now? But, you know, everything, everything happens for a reason. Yes, that is so right. And I was always rooting for you. All right, you got the swimsuit competition. Go own it. Make mama proud, sister. Go, 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 go. Mwah. All right, Steve, it's back to you. Well, thank you, Ashley. Tonight's winner will be decided by you fans voting at home and our seven expert judges in the house. So, uh, Megan, uh, let me ask you a question. You also judged the preliminary competition earlier this week. Any surprises in the top 16? Yeah, there were a few surprises, but then there were a handful of women who I obviously knew their country would be called, but let me make it very clear. All 92 contestants were incredible. They're all going to go on and make a real difference in their community. All of them are going to do great things. Yeah. Uh, Ross, uh, now the pressure's really on for you guys. Uh, what are you looking for? Uh, for starters, I just want to say, OMG, this is so exciting. Am I right, everybody? It's Miss Universe. <laughs> Miss Universe. I have judged this competition so many times, but I've always been on my couch in my living room, so finally they brought me here. Thank you, Steve. No, I'm thank looking. You for a woman who is confident, right? Who has a good heart and is, wants to do a good mission with the crown. I have a feeling we're gonna find her tonight, Steve. Great, great. Well, Pia. Hi, Steve. I love you. Miss you. me? <laughs> oh, I miss you so much, God. Uh, this is where it all went down. You were crowned right here on this stage. Uh, what's it like to be on the other side? Well, it's great to be back here in Vegas and in Planet Hollywood where it all happened in 2015. Just like not so long ago, I was exactly there and now I'm a judge. So it's interesting. And you know what, Steve? I feel like it's harder to be a judge than to be a Miss Universe because all of the ladies, like, it's, they're, they're all incredible and it's really hard to pick. Yeah. You think it's hard to be a judge? Yeah. You ought to try hosting this thing. Oh, I, I'll leave that to you. <laughs> no, everybody's waiting on the big moment at the end. See if I get it right. That's what everybody's waiting on. Did you bring I your glasses? I already know it. I already know it. <laughs> well, uh, thank you, judges. Now let's throw it back to Ashley. Thank you, Steve. I'm here in the Chi Lounge, and when we come back, our finalists take on the swimsuit round. For 66 years, the swimsuit competition has been a Miss Universe tradition. During that time, we've seen a lot of different styles grace the stage. It's time for a little throwback. Take a look. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we continue with the swimsuit competition. Ah, they are pretty close to perfect. The swimsuits are all alike. But the young ladies who are wearing them are one of a kind. You're the only one, you're the only one. Can't get enough of your love. No more. Thank you, girls. Thank you Ladies and gentlemen, that is the swimsuit competition. Our top 16 are getting ready for their first challenge of the night. The swimsuit competition. This is Miss Universe, live on Fox. So ladies, I'm sure I've not been the only one that's been stereotyped for being a beauty queen, as they call it. 
people think, you know, how can you enter a pageant and be all for women empowerment? Oh, yeah. And then you walk on a stage in a bikini. But I kind of feel that I work so hard to be fit and to be healthy. I'm so proud of who I am. And if that can inspire somebody else to live a healthier lifestyle, then why not? One of my favorite quotes is that I've chosen to celebrate my femininity rather than be apologetic for it. And mm -hmm. I think that's what we all stand for. It's just a time to celebrate <laughs> us, oh, celebrate women. Why should we be apologetic? What we're doing is we great. Mm -hmm. You know, we're perfectly imperfect. Exactly. And this is this our is message. Our message. Yeah. They don't say Miss Universe beautiful. They say come on. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. With the heart. <laughs> With the heart. <laughs> Welcome back to Miss Universe. And I am here with Miss South Africa, who just made it into the top 16. OK, girl, I want to have some real talk. I know what it takes to put that confidence on and get into a, a bathing suit, a bikini nonetheless, and walk the runway, but I've never done it on a stage like this. What do you do to get ready? With 6,000 people, right? Right! Do you know what, Ashley? I think it's about being comfortable in who you are. I've worked hard to be fit and to be healthy, and that is what I love to do. That is what I love to be, and I've always been a sporty person, and I'm happy with who I am. So that's what makes me go out there and just own the stage. You are literally owning it, and especially in this Yamamai swimsuit. Girl, you look fantastic. Speaking. Oh, well, please. All right, Steve, back to you. All right, thanks, Ashley. Uh, for everybody watching, don't forget that your vote will make the difference between your favorites moving closer to the crown or being eliminated and going home. 92 million fans have already voted. So get in on the action and go to vote.missuniverse.com or hit up Twitter using hashtag Miss Universe, hashtag the name of the country that you're voting for. Now, let's get to it. swimsuit competition your finalists from Africa and Asia Pacific Thailand with our judges, the finalists from Europe, Spain. Oh, hey. 
Alicia. for the crown. They locked down the wild card spots. Here are the last four of your top 16 Philippines. Venezuela. These 16 extraordinary women just rocked the swimsuit competition, but only 10 of them will be moving forward into the next round. By the end of the night, one contestant will be crowned the next Miss Universe. After the break, we reveal the top 10 and the winner of our national costume competition when Miss Universe continues. It's my first time in Vegas. I saw all the lights. Everything was sparkling. Am I really here? It's surreal. Look who I'm here with. Mami Chile. I don't know what I should do with my lines. May I get the All-American? Wish I got that one. <laughs> this is everything you're going to do in the next three days? You register, hair sessions, the photo shoots, the fittings. I feel like I'm in a candy store at the moment. How do you say, let's eat, in Italian? Adesso possiamo mangiare. It's just been non-stop. Swing your leg out for me. Yeah. I think now we are going to go, go, go. We're in Vegas, baby.
All right, swimwear. Uh, 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 what did you uh, think, Lou? That was a walk, baby. Now, Brazil, yes. USA, Jamaica, Thailand. Yes. Oh, my God. USA had that swimwear walk down to a science. Yes, See what but I they did follow there? each other, Scientists. Brazil and USA. How about... Um, what did you think about uh, Colombia? Colombia was great. Uh huh. They Sri were Lanka, fabulous. Love it. South Africa, lots of personality. All right, that's our recap, everybody. Well, welcome back to Miss Universe. These 16 women have a lot to be proud of. They all made an impact during the preliminary competition and just lit up the stage in the swimsuit round. But six of them are about to be eliminated. Fans everywhere have been voting for their favorites all night. So let's take a look at the home vote. The judges' scores have been counted and the voters at home have weighed in. It's time to reveal our top 10. The first contestant to make it to the top 10 is Venezuela! Como mujer con toda mi feminidad, me impuse en una carrera catalogada para hombres y aquí estoy con mi título de ingeniero mecánico. Luego rompí otro estereotipo que una Miss jamás estudió este tipo de carreras. Me convertí en Miss Venezuela y ahora estoy aquí ante el universo diciendo Venezuela. No hace falta imitar a un hombre para poder estar a su altura o, o para estar debajo encima. Realmente no hay, no hay medida. Con dedicación y con mucho esfuerzo, nosotros podemos siempre alcanzar lo que queramos. Venezuela. Moving ahead in the competition is... USA. The journey to becoming a scientist actually started at a young age. I just fell in love with chemistry because of my high school chemistry teacher. And that led me actually to my career at the United States Nuclear Regulatory Commission. So we have a neutron that is ionized, uranium-235-236. And we create energy. Being someone who struggled with math but fell in love with science and being so discouraged and to believe that I could never be a scientist is the reason why I started this program. I do hands-on interactive science experiments and I show the children that science is fun, it opens your imagination, and it's everywhere. And go. <gasps> and that is why I encourage young girls to find a passion for science and a passion for discovery. USA. The next woman to advance is... Philippines! The ocean has a calming effect on me. Just being out in the water, you just basically have to surrender yourself to the ocean. When you catch your first wave, you just feel so victorious. <laughs> Ever since I was a kid, we've always lived close to a beach. We were always wakeboarding, scuba diving. That's something that's just been embedded in me. Recently, I opened my own coffee shop on Shargao Island in the Philippines, and I'm so proud. I feel like I've really grown into a new woman since starting this business. And hopefully that inspires people to have a goal and work towards that goal. Philippines. Taking one step closer to the crown is... Canada! One of the strongest lessons that I learned is how powerful women can be when they set their minds to something. There are a number of challenging moments in everybody's life. One time where I thought I might fail was my engineering degree. It is not a walk in the park and I was balancing that with a full-time job. And there were a number of times during that program where I wanted to call it quits. 
The important thing is to look at the end goal and see where you will end up at the end of it. Canada, still alive in the competition is South Africa. Literally a month after my crowning, I was hijacked and held at gunpoint. I put my hands up, got out of the car, gave them the keys, gave them my phone and tried to run away. But the guy pulled me back and pushed me back into the car telling me, get in, you're going with us. I took a chance and I punched the guy in his throat. I managed to run away. I was able to, to go to a safe place. No! As with South Africa, I was able to launch Unbreakable. Cut. My campaign consisted of getting specialists in their field together to equip women with the necessary skills and knowledge on how to empower themselves. Yes! This was a traumatic experience and it was really, really bad and I will not allow myself to be a victim. South Africa. Locking down the next spot is... Spain! When you're a kid, you don't really understand why other kids make fun of you. I didn't like being tall, and now I realize how privileged I am to be this tall because that has allowed me to play basketball. I've been working in, in schools, tell them about my experience with bullying and how I overcame it. I'm really focused, I'm really disciplined, so persistent in what I want, I follow my dreams. I became the person I am today through basketball and through sports. I think we need to focus on what unites us instead of what makes us apart and different. Spain. Also headed into the final 10 is... Brazil. Eu nasci num estado bem humilde no Brasil também, que se chama Piauí. A minha família é muito grande, muito, muito grande. É uma família muito calorosa, muito receptiva. Uma das coisas que eu mais gosto de fazer é passar para as pessoas motivação, principalmente os jovens e as crianças negras, a se aceitarem e respeitar a sua beleza. Ninguém é igual a ninguém e precisamos respeitar isso, respeitarmos a diferença, porque eu sou diferente, você é diferente, todos nós somos diferentes. Brasil! Only three spots left. Still in the running is. Colombia! My family is my team. My mom, my dad, and granny are the ones who want me to make my dreams come true. When I was a little girl, I was bullied. I was the fat girl of my classroom, and it hurt a lot, but it showed me how to be strong and how to look into people's soul. If I told the girl that I was years ago, that this would happen, she wouldn't believe me. I showed that girl that she could do anything she wanted with passion, with love. I am the same girl, just now in high heels. Colombia. Two more to go. Breaking through to the next round is... Thailand. is very special in the sense that when you eat, you share everything. And this sort of represents the Thai people. We're very caring and sharing. When I finished my master's in marketing, it was a time in my life where I didn't have anything planned out for me anymore. I didn't know what I was gonna do. I didn't know who I was. I think though being that lost, it really made me find myself. 
and it made me really realize what I wanted to do and why I was here. And I think that I could actually make a difference in the sense of teenage pregnancies. There's sort of a stigma when it comes to teenage pregnant women. The young girls who get pregnant are sometimes shunned from society. I really want to help them get back to studying and pursuing their dreams. Thailand. Seven women are waiting to hear their names, but there's only one spot left. The last contestant to make it into the top 10 is... Jamaica! I am Jamaica. You should really see the magnitude of our landscape. We are very authentic in whatever we do and what we bring to the plate. I'm in the process of learning sign language. You know, it's really hard for them not being able to get the same equal opportunities or they treat them less because they have a disability or they are different. So I'm also in the process of building a sign language app, which is really to break the barriers of communication between persons of a deaf society and persons of the, of the hearing counterparts. Jamaica. Well, congratulations to this year's top 10. These world-class women are a shining example of what it means to be confidently beautiful. By the end of the night, one of them will be our next Miss Universe. Now, the National Costume Competitions, it isn't just a fan favorite, it's an official Steve Harvey favorite. I spend this entire part of this competition making faces. <laughs> well, trust me, these costumes sometimes are really, really crazy. Check out these highlights from the National Costume Competition held earlier this week. You look amazing. Getting ready, baby. Venezuela. Guatemala. Costa Rica. Peru. All right, Curacao. Yes. And then together, beautiful woman. This is really, really exciting to see all the girls in their national costumes, see what each one of the women chose to represent and share about their country and their culture. And it's exciting. Canada. Ecuador. And welcome Korea. Mexico. Dominican Republic. Colombia. Colombia. Yeah. Nicaragua, USA. Iraq, Thailand. Thailand. Well, with me now is the winner of the national costume competition. I saw some crazy costumes uh, on that stage, and I don't want to say yours isn't that crazy, but. Uh, that's, that's the outfit. Let, that's it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I like that. Yeah. That's it. That's pretty hot. It was a pow. It zips a pow. I gotta get a suit like that. I gotta do that. That's, hey, thank you, Japan. Listen, 10 women are still in the running for the title. The quest for the crown continues when they hit the stage for the evening gown competition with an electrifying performance by Fergie. It all happens next, right here, everybody, when Miss Universe continues.
Maybe sexual harassment is a global issue. It's not just in the US. In my country, sexual harassment is rampant. It's mm. tremendous. In every minute, 10 girls are being raped and in our country. And the woman is blamed. This needs to stop. This is not okay. Yeah, of course. This cannot go on like that. Whether it's catcalling, somebody touching your body, and the problem is sometimes, even if you would seek help, the person you're asking for like help from, he would also sexually harass mm. you. Men had to think, what if this was my sister? What if this was my daughter? daughter. It's not just thinking, oh, she's, she could be my mother, she could be my daughter, she could be my sister. She's a human being, period. Right. Yeah. That is it. So, what do we do with regards to making sure that there is integrity, that people are being called out for the wrong that they've been doing? I think it's what you said, it's calling people out. It's having the strength and encouraging other people to stand up and say this is wrong. And the beauty of Miss Universe is that we're throwing pebbles into the river and they're slowly spreading ripples. But because there's 92 of them, it's, it's like throwing a huge wave. And hopefully yeah. there will be more. Yes. Hopefully yes. there will be more. We're a storm. We're yes, yeah, 92 strong. Yeah. And it's about coming together as one and making that change. Welcome back to Miss Universe. And I am in the middle of all the action backstage, moments before the evening out competition. And I'm here with Jamaica. Okay, girl, you are, first of all, you're stunning. Second of all, I want to know your strategy. My strategy just to exude confidence this evening and just to work my gown. Girl, you're working it for sure. Okay, the evening gown is about to start. Let's get the preview from Carson and Lou. Guys. Hey there, uh, Lou, the evening gown is my favorite part of it's the entire competition mm -hmm. because we get to see amazing fashion creations from Absolutely. across the globe. A lot of the girls are going to be wearing creations the from their home countries. But their yes. personality is more. South Africa right. giving me lots of personality and Jamaica works that gown like she just did. She'll get in trouble from me later. So it's it's how you Elegance, wear the dress. sophistication, not too much. Presentation. There we go. All right, let's head it back to Steve. Well, the night began with 92 women. 16 survived the regionals, and now just 10 world-class contestants remain. Now it's time for the evening gown competition, which is why I got all dressed up tonight. I am so fly. Uh, we're going to have ourselves a classy formal affair, folks. Home voting is open again, so grab your devices. Uh, if you're ready, go to vote.missuniverse.com or tweet with hashtag Miss Universe, hashtag country. Now it's time for the evening gown competition with a live performance by eight time Grammy winner, Fergie. Venezuela is uh, wearing a silver and white, and a lot of the women have chosen white. A lot of our winners have worn white. This is, I think, super elegant, simple hair, a really embellished bodice, and then a long, simple, flowing uh, ivory skirt. This is a really glamorous, beautiful presentation. USA. This is really different for USA. 
She's ordinarily not this sexy. She's bringing it tonight. Wow, USA, walk, baby. I believe that's called slaying. Philippines. Big crowd favorite with the Philippines here tonight. This is a very simple, again, a metallic with a little bit of those uh, marabou feather details at the hemline. Curvy, beautiful, just enough skin showing. Really stunning. Canada. Canada is giving you train. Look at the face, eye contact, great posture, working the dress, the dress is not working her. Go, Canada. Beautiful. South Africa. So much personality from South Africa. Working the camera and working this dress. A bit covered up, but a great uh, hemline detail. Nude with a dramatic kind of crystallized embellishment and an art deco detail. Very sophisticated. And when you first said I'm going to pick up that chick. He bounced left, it was over, never came back. She's about daddy after he left. Now she's mama and them kids. And she said, I'll hold it down, don't you worry, we'll find a way. No matter how I make sure the bills get paid. She gave it all and thank God the mouse got fed. She prayed the cycle would end. When everything around us starts to fall, we rise up again to the of our top 10 finalists, Spain. Spain has been consistent throughout the entire pageant. She's a strong contender, and I love that she added feathers to make her appear a lot softer. Brazil. Here comes Brazil in this powerful red really a statement color. Uh, Red says, notice me, take a look. And I love the modernity of the uh, round uh, matte sequence. Really cool. Colombia. Colombia has come to take no hostages. What a dress. She can walk, she's sexy, she's smooth. She can pose. Look at the face. Look at the face. Yes. That's what I mean about giving face. Go, Colombia. Thailand. Thailand, another big crowd favorite here tonight in this deep, deep navy blue with that long cape sleeve. This is a dress that you can really uh, feel dramatic in. She's giving us that glamour. Really love this look. Jamaica. Beautiful. She's not overworking those sleeves. Just enough for hair to get under it. That color. Love yellow on stage. Just enough transparency where it's not too overt. Beautiful. Beautiful Jamaica. Sometimes when you feel like you need it, they send in the medical. If it's just so that he's bleeding, the soldier won't help me know. It's time to get up to the front of the line. The call to the battle is straight for the line. Where, 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 where? It's not the man's on your down, stuck on the ground, back on the crown. Cause you are a warrior, you're more than you know. We're all just a little bit broken. Yeah. We've 
Folks, show your love for Fergie. Here are your top 10 finalists. Let's get the inside story from Carson and Lou. Thanks, Steve. Thank you so much. Wow. Wow. I love that Thailand didn't move her sleeves at all. I noticed Often that. Often you don't need to touch the dress. No, Let the dress do what it do. And, you know, it, the tonight was about a diversity of color. Absolutely. It was about a lot of glamour. A lot of personality, a lot of sex appeal. Very individual. A yes. lot of your... Many years Good ago, job, all ladies. wore white. Last year, the top three were all in gold, and this year, we saw a lot of really We also saw unique. a lot of face movement. We the did. The face must move. You cannot hold the entire face, the entire pageant, and win Miss Universe. Not going to happen. My face doesn't ever move. Oh, God. Sorry. All right, take it away, Steve. All right, thanks, guys. Now that our 10 finalists have dazzled the stage, it's all up to our judges and you viewers at home. Five of these women will be moving one step closer to their dreams. It's all going down after the break. This is Miss Universe. Welcome back to Miss Universe, live from Planet Hollywood Resort and Casino, celebrating its 10th anniversary. Well, it's been an incredible night so far. We began with 92 contestants, the most in Miss Universe history. Only 10 women are still in the running. And right now, 10 is about to become five. The results have been tabulated by our official accounting firm of Ernst & Young, Let's see who you voters at home have put into your top five. This is the tough part. Let's get to it. The first woman to make it into the final five is South Africa. I would love to, to encourage people to take hands and grow together and move forward as one nation. South Africa. The next woman who still has a shot at the title is... Venezuela! Now I'm here. Ante el universo diciendo Venezuela. Yo soy el mejor ejemplo de que los sueños se pueden cumplir con dedicación y con mucho esfuerzo. Nosotros podemos siempre alcanzar lo que queramos. Venezuela. Moving one step closer to her dream is Thailand. Even if you're afraid of something and even if you think you can't do it, you just have to try. And eventually, if you try hard enough, you can do it. Thailand. Earning the fourth spot in the final five is... Jamaica! In order to evolve and to grow, you have to step outside of your comfort zone. Because every experience is a lesson, and a lesson that will teach you something that will impact your future. Jamaica. Six women are waiting to hear their name, but there's only room for one more. The last spot in the final five goes to Colombia! I have seen very special people, very special hearts, and I think they should be the main characters of our society. And I'm working for that, and I will get that. Colombia! 
Our judges and the viewers at home have spoken. Say hello to your final five. They've walked the walk. And when we come back, they've got to talk the talk. That's right. The high stakes question round is just ahead. This is Miss Universe live on Fox. If you missed an episode of Empire, you can watch it anytime. We get knocked down, we get back up. Let the games begin. All new Empire at its new time, Wednesdays at 8, or watch anytime on demand or Fox Now. Welcome back to Miss Universe. Okay, Carson, we gotta talk about the top five. What are you thinking right now? We do. Okay, even though my face doesn't really move, this is disappointment, everybody, <laughs> because where is Miss USA? I, I was know. shocked that she wasn't in the top five. This is a very impressive group. They were all gorgeous. They were all really inspiring. Yes. But I'm a little bit surprised that yeah. Miss USA is not in the mix. Okay, but well, personality, I want to know. personality yep. came through, and that's what they're going to be looking at in the mm -hmm. next round, especially. So focus. Think about the question, listen, show yes. your personality. They only want to know about you. Be listen a diplomat, to have an answer. Yes, wow. listen to Lou. Okay. I'm going to do that right now. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, the question round is coming up, and I can't wait to see what we've got going on. Mm -hmm. Well, it's time for the question round. Now, throughout her reign, Miss Universe travels all around the world and acts as a global ambassador, being fast on her feet, and polished under pressure is essential. Their answers will determine who moves into the final three. Our questions tonight are coming from Miss Universe fans via Facebook. It's time to get your devices ready. With everything on the line, every vote will count, especially from you home viewers. Contestants, once I read the question, you will have only 30 seconds to deliver a clear and concise answer. Don't panic. 30 seconds is longer than you think. When your time is up, you'll hear this sound. Now, some of our contestants will be using an interpreter. South Africa is first. Here we go. South Africa, please join me at center stage. Okay, women make up 49% of the global workforce. What do you believe is the most important issue facing women in the workplace today and why? In some places, women get paid 75% of what men earn for doing the same job, working the same hours, and I do not believe that that is right. I think we should have equal work for equal pay for women all over the world. Thank you. Thank you, South Africa. Venezuela, you're up. Social media has become a prominent factor in the way we perceive one another. Do you believe social media has had a positive or negative effect on the way we judge beauty? Ahora, las redes sociales han tenido un impacto bien importante en la manera en que nosotros relacionamos en el uno en el otro. ¿Usted piensa que las redes sociales han tenido un impacto positivo o negativo en la manera en que nosotros juzgamos belleza? Las redes sociales son lo que nosotros queremos que sean. The social medias are what we make of them. Nosotros tenemos que aprender a manejar las redes sociales de forma positiva y dejar las críticas destructivas. We must use social medias in a positive way and take away any criticism. Detrás de cada foto, de cada red social, hay una persona, un ser humano que siente y padece. Behind every photo, every social media account, there is a good person, a human who can feel. Y no todos merecemos respeto. And we all deserve respect. Thank you, Venezuela. Thailand is time. Uh, what do you think has been the most important social movement of your generation and why? I think the most important social movement so far is that we're having a aging aging population but so the most important 
uh, movement in our time is definitely the youth. So the youth is the future. The youth is something that we have to invest in because they're the ones who are going to look after the earth that we live in. Thank you. Thank you, Thailand. Jamaica, step right up. Sexual harassment has been at the forefront of recent headlines. Why is it important for men and women to work together in tackling this issue? Sexual harassment is a form of abuse, and no abuse should be tolerated, whether in the workplace or in society. I believe that men and women should come together and be professional, leave this act alone, and anything that it happens, such as sexual harassment, should be taken into the law and should be dealt with. Thank you. Thank you, Jamaica. Columbia, please join me over here. Okay. Terrorism is one of the main threats facing our world today. As Miss Universe, you will lead discussions on current issues with communities around the globe. How would you go about explaining terrorism to a child? El terrorismo es uno de los peligros más grandes en el mundo. Como Miss Universo, vas a tener que ser líder en conversaciones con pueblos por todo el mundo sobre los eventos actuales. Si podrías a, a explicar el terrorismo a un niño, ¿cómo lo harías? Jamás he estado en la posición de la víctima, del victimario o de la familia. I've never been a victim or a victim or a family member of terrorism. No puedo decir a ciencia cierta cómo se siente. I cannot really explain how it feels to be one of them. Pero si tengo la oportunidad de hablar con un niño, but if I had the opportunity to speak to a child, le pediría por favor que su generación, incluso la mía, I would tell them that please, your generation and my generation, ya no puede estar llena de armas. We cannot be full of weapons. Por favor, más libros, más cultura, más amigos, más amor. Please, more books, more culture, more friendships, and more love. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Columbia. <laughs> Judges, you have a tough decision to make. When we come back, we'll find out which contestants earned that coveted spot in the final three. And later, they get at last a chance to deliver their own personal message in the final word. Coming up, an empowering performance by Rachel Platten during the final look. This is the 2017 Miss Universe, live from Planet Hollywood Resort and Casino, celebrating its 10th anniversary here in Las Vegas. Well, welcome back to Miss Universe, everybody. Confidently beautiful women from all over the world began this journey. After four rounds of competition, only five remain. Now before the break, they each face the question round. And now it's time to find out who made the top three. I hope you're ready because it's happening right now. The first contestant with a chance to become the next Miss Universe is... Jamaica! The next woman still in competition for the crown is... Colombia! <laughs> Only one spot left. One of you will move on, and for the other two, your Miss Universe journey ends right now. The last contestant 
in the final three is South Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, your three finalists. All right, folks, listen. If it were up to me, you ladies would get a breather, a little mental recovery between questions. But as a global representative for Miss Universe, you have to be ready for anything. And right now, you're about to get the final word. Now, unlike the last round, I'm about to ask each of you the exact same question. While one contestant answers, the others will be wearing soundproof headphones. Here, the playing field is leveled. And whether or not you win the crown is completely in your hands. This is your final word. You've each got 45 seconds to answer. If you go over time, you will hear this sound. Some contestants may be using an interpreter. It's time for your final word. Colombia and South Africa, headphones on. Jamaica, please join me. Here is the question. What quality in yourself are you most proud of and how will you apply that quality to your time as Miss Universe? Thank you. The most quality that I'm most appreciative of is my drive, my determination. I am the founder of a foundation that spreads awareness for the deaf community. And this platform is such a great platform to just let persons know that these persons need opportunities and need equal opportunities as those in society. And so Miss Universe competition will be the platform for me to use this foundation to spread awareness for the, all the deaf people around. Thank you. Thank you, Jamaica. Please remove Columbia's headphones. Columbia, please join me. Here is your question. What quality in yourself are you most proud of? And how will you apply that quality to your time as Miss Universe? ¿Cuál es la cualidad que usted se siente más orgulloso de? ¿Y cómo usarías esa cualidad en tu tiempo como Miss Universo? Soy supremamente apasionada por todo lo que hago. I'm incredibly passionate about everything I do. Con pasión, With compassion, tengo disciplina. I have discipline. Con pasión, entrego todo, todo mi ser en cada escenario que piso. With compassion, I put my whole self in every situation that I work at. Así lo hice como actriz. I've done this as an actress. Así lo hice como Colombia. I've done this as Colombia. Y no lo dudo que así lo haría como Miss Universo. And I do not doubt that I would do this as Miss Universe. Thank you. Thank you, Colombia. Please remove South Africa's headphones. South Africa, please join me. Here is your question. What quality in yourself are you most proud of? And how will you apply that quality to your time as Miss Universe? As Miss Universe, you have to be confident in who you are as an individual. And Miss Universe is a woman that has overcome many fears. And by that, she is able to help other women overcome their fears. She is a woman that nothing is ever too much to ask for. And I think that is exactly who I am. Thank you. Thank you, South Africa. Well, the final word is over. But coming up, our finalists have one chance left to make a lasting impression on our judges. It's their final look. <laughs> 
accompanied by singer-songwriter Rachel Platten. And later, we crown a new Miss Universe live on Fox. Guys, this is turning into such an insane evening. I like don't even know what to say, but I, I want to talk about the final, yes. the final word. The final word, listen, I've judged this competition a couple times. The final word is so helpful for the judges because it's the same question right. for each of the women. So you really get a chance to compare personality, right. sincerity, delivery, presence, poise, apples to apples. And I think that's really telling for the judges, it really helps. However, I thought each of this top of these top three contenders did a phenomenal job. They really Humble did. Down saying personality counts. Right. Notice our yes. top three. Yeah. I tell you, yes. Miss Universe does not do fashion week in any country, but she commands an auditorium when she speaks. Yes. That's Columbia. what these three. Columbia. Yes. Major heart. But you guys, for this, it's been the overall night. So overall night, we have to start thinking about this. Okay. Not just this question. Yes. Okay. What are we? What are our thoughts? I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards South Africa. She seems <gasps> I, I sweet, too. sincere, really? I am too. beautiful, you soft. I am, I am. I I'm, love Jamaica, love Colombia. No, love I heart. like Jamaica. I, Jamaica. I'm all, I want Jamaica to win. Okay, guys, let's see what Steve has okay. for the final look. Well, folks, all night, we've been feeling the love from the viewers at home. You guys have been voting for your favorite contestants, and your support could help put them over the top. But it's not over yet. So keep the votes coming by going to vote.missuniverse.com or by using Twitter with hashtag Miss Universe, hashtag country. We're down to the top three, and this is the last chance to make an unforgettable impression with the final look. They're joined by an artist whose empowering music continues to inspire women around the world. Here to perform Broken Glass, please welcome Rachel Platten. Girl watching, go break those ceilings. I'm on a highway full of red lights. I've lost so many long nights. Felt words that cut it like knives. I know, I know they're gone. Say what they want. Yeah, I know they're gone. Say what they want. Feel it changing, I can taste it, I'm on the way I won't waste it, I have been patient But I'm not waiting anymore, not anymore, no When the day's on broken glass, on broken glass And I'm gonna make that ceiling crash, that ceiling crash So what, still got knives in my bag, so what So I'm tied to the tracks So I'm tied to the tracks I'm 
gonna dance some broken glass Yeah, here I go, here I go Ooh. 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 Yeah, here I go, here I go Ooh. Ooh. Here I go, here I go Yeah, here I go, here I go That was a powerful performance from Rachel Platten. Thank you, Rachel. One of these three remarkable women will take the crown tonight. Our judges have weighed in. The final votes are being counted. And after the break, we name a brand new Miss Universe. It's all just moments away. Being Miss Universe has opened so many doors for me because I met so many different people and I traveled all around the world. It was like a dream for me. I had to change my look almost every day. I've learned from the best artists in the business, learning new styles and learning what <laughs> not to do. Don't put in your eyes. Now, I have to think about my final look as Miss Universe. I want my look to be regal, but I also want to be myself and feel comfortable, confident, and beautiful. Welcome back, everybody. The last time that France won the Miss Universe crown was in 1953. That is, until Iris Mittenar became the 65th Miss Universe. Well, she's taken on that role with great enthusiasm and an inspiring drive to make a difference. She's raised the bar for women everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning Miss Universe, Iris Mittenar. Being Miss Universe was more than I ever expected. I grew so much as a woman during this past year. Every person I met, every country I traveled to, all the new foods, left me with more than when I had begun this journey. The Miss Universe organization taught me how to be a boss lady and never underestimate myself. As a dental student, one of the most memorable moments this year was getting the opportunity to work with Smile Train and being given the chance to help them change the world one smile at a time. There are many people I would like to thank. Maman, Papa et mes frères et sœurs, je vous aime. Tupia, Dashana, Kali, Kyra and Sophia. Sisters forever. To the next Miss Universe. Enjoy every second of this amazing year. Finally, to my beloved France. Je vous aime et vive la France. Well, thank you, Iris. You've had an unforgettable journey. But now it's time to pass the crown to another deserving winner. The night began with 92 of the world's most impressive women. And now we've narrowed it down to three. Each of these finalists have shown that they all deserve to carry the title. But only one of them is about to become Miss Universe. Tall Goldhammer from the distinguished firm of Ernst & Young has tallied the votes. All right, man, we've been here before. Don't let nothing happen, okay? Be afraid. Be very afraid. <laughs> Our judges have weighed in, and fans worldwide have voted. Contestants, this is the moment you've been dreaming of. The second runner-up for Miss Universe is Jamaica!
Congratulations, Jamaica. Only two women remain. Colombia and South Africa. Take center stage, please. One of you is about to become our new Miss Universe. If for any reason the winner is unable to fulfill her duties, the first runner-up will take her place. Good luck to you both. The new Miss Universe is... South Africa! walk as Miss Universe. Well, the crown has been passed to a brand new Miss Universe. I feel amazing and I didn't win anything. Yes, you did. <laughs> it's been a wonderful night. Well, thanks to all of our contestants, all of our judges, and all of you fans at home. Good night, Good night everybody. everybody.